As Turkey feels the effects of a devaluing national currency, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has signed a decree that requires using the Turkish lira for buying, selling, and renting real estate, as well as leasing vehicles. Now, the move comes into effect in 30 days' time. Erdogan previously announced that Turkey will pursue non-dollar transactions and in international trade and investments. Now, the fall in the lira's value is making it more difficult for the government and Turkish companies to repay their debts. Financial columnist Taha Arbas joins me now in the studio to discuss this further. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Uh, is this a smart move, first of all, forcing these real estate and uh, vehicle purchase transactions into lira? I think it's going to be good for uh, many people, but it might also be uh, there might be adverse effects for others. Um, if you own a uh, if you own a shop in Turkey or if you you know if you own a store here, and your currency your rent is nominated in euros or in dollars. Uh, you will have had to make up 40%, 50% more this year to break even. So that's forcing many of these companies to either um, shut down altogether, and that means uh, letting people go, and that affects uh, unemployment as well. So what they're trying to do is save the mom and chop pop stores here, mm -hmm. as well as the larger uh, real estate um, places that are de uh, that are denominated in foreign currency. So mm -hmm. it's it's great for the people who are uh, renting. But what Turkey did about a decade ago was put all mortgages for companies, excuse me, for, um, for households into Turkish liras anyway. So you can't borrow, uh, if you're a household, in euros or dollars to buy real estate. You can't have a mortgage. And that's good because it decreases the dependence on the foreign currencies. And so when, because in, 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 in the past in Turkey, every 10 or 20 years it'd be an economic crisis and foreign denominated currencies would be used for uh, mortgages and that would just, you know, throw everything off. So this is, right. that, that might be a good thing in that, in that respect. Key word is might, yeah. because there's always, uh, there's always, there are always consequences sure, of sorts. Sure, sure. And now we're looking at some speculation that interest rates might go up. Uh, that's supposed to boost confidence, investor confidence, um, and then strengthen the lira, of course. Uh, but the lira has already kind of strengthened in the past week, just some say right. based on that speculation. Right. But there also could be serious domestic consequences to raising those rates. Right. I mean, large Turkish companies could crumble under sure. their debts now. Sure. There's an absolute credit crunch right now in Turkey, even in the Turkish lira. Uh, and increasing interest rates more. I mean, Argentina did this a month ago. They, mm. They've increased their interest rates from 40% to over 60% in a matter of a month. And the currency has gone down considerably right. since then. So uh, this thinking that the, the currency interest rates, excuse me, that the raising interest rates is a panacea, that it will solve everything is an obvious mistake. Um, there are other structural issues, there are other international relations issues that are more important than uh, in raising interest rates. But having said that, I think the Central Bank of Turkey will in raise interest rates today, um, but I don't think it will be, uh, it will do enough for the currency as the, what we're looking for here. Because some economists are arguing that the weakness of the lira is not so much uh, about monetary policy, right. how it's managed interest rates, it's about the volatility and the unpredictable nature of the U.S.-Turkish relationship right now. Um, you can't have the most powerful economy in the world threatening sanctions right. uh, on your economy. Right. I mean, uh, I, I agree with some of those things because, uh, yes, it's very true that I mean, there is a global economic trade war going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, every single day Donald Trump threatens economic war against China and the EU and uh, Mexico and Canada. And you, you remember his remarks from a couple of weeks ago. So Turkey is just one person in this huge game that's mm. being played. So the question is, what can we do, what can Turkey do, rather, um, to come out on top here? And the Turkey's largest exporter, Turkish largest, Turkey's largest trading partner is the EU. Mm. So closer relations with the EU are essential here. Um, yes, it's true that there are, there are symbolic sanctions that the United States has placed on Turkish goods. Less than 10% of total goods exported to the, to, to the United States are being sanctioned. But this doesn't mean that there is, um, I mean, I think those are only symbolic. So, right. uh, but having said that, the other things you're talking about, improving relations would only do great things uh, for the Turkish economy, for all our uh, the partners. global economy. Yeah, right. absolutely. Okay. Taha Arvas, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much Thank you. for coming in.